It's beer o'clock on Relail Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Zemecki Pivova in Breklav, Czech Republic, and this is a bottle of their Kanek. This looks to me to be a premium lager, 5% ABV. It's their number 12. Now I'm wondering if that's 12 degrees Plato. Comment in the comments box. That is the percentage of malt. As per volume of the water of the words of the beer, that's my very very kind of unknowledgeable kind of terms with with what's going on with degrees Plato. Some use it, I believe, as color. They can they can check out the color of the beer by its degrees Plato. Gold bottle cap with the Canek label there. Uh, I'm looking forward to this one. It's five percent ABV, five hundred ml bottle. Brown glass bottle, here we go. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass. So we have a definite amber coloured lager, good levels of carbonation. Uh, it's a three to four finger white head. Looks smashing, really smashing. Lovely. It looks like a, a lager I just want to dive into. I like the colour, I like an amber lager. It's definitely an amber coloured lager, almost on its way to being a, a kind of a, a, a red malt lager, which would be superb. Uh, the beer was kindly sent to us by our channel sponsors, beersofeurope.co.uk, the largest online beer store in the UK with a fabulous range of beers from all around the world. From what we have here, from the Czech Republic, to France, to, to Spain, to Portugal, to, to Korea, to America, to... We've had Jamaican beer from Beers of Europe, literally beer from all over the world. Like breweries we Croatian beer, the garden brewery beers we've had on the channel, all from beersofeurope.co.uk. So if you're living in the UK and you want to try something from the world, then check out in the description box of this video, beersofeurope.co.uk. On with the beer review. I'm desperate to get this last bit of beer just to see if it's is a bit of unfiltered hate. It is in fact a little bit. Have a look at the bottom of the glass, how clear that is. Now let me drop the glass. And you can start to see a little bit of haze towards the top of the glass. We'll get the rest of that. We'll get the rest of that beer in the glass as soon as we've got the aroma and had a taste of the beer. Nice carbonation, lovely looking beer. Two finger white head. Ooh, this, this aroma is the smell of a beer that I once remember. I remember fondly visiting a brewery in Poland. Uh, it's where we, where we brewed Call Me Simon with Brava Pinta. And I remember walking around this, it was a rather large regional brewery, but I remember smelling wort all day long. Like wet malts and wort and it just made me hungry all day. I was there all day and it just made me hungry all day. The smell of wort makes me hungry. I love the smell of wort. I love the smell of kind of wet, damp malt and beautiful. But this brewery kind of reeked of it in Poland. But this has got the same aroma. A slightly worty, biscuity. Even to some degree, a little bit smoky. There's a little bit of smokiness in this beer. Smells fantastic, it really does. Let's dive in. <clears throat> Cheers, everybody. Mmm. Oh. oh, that is fabulous. Oh. 
light, crisp, refreshing. Those are the first three things that come into my head. Light, crisp and refreshing. But then after being light and crisp and refreshing, it has this, first of all, lovely bitterness on the back end. Bitter, peppery, spicy flavour. And then, on top of that, <clears throat> it has this fabulous biscuit malt flavour. Can you remember when I was talking about the malt earlier on in the beer? That, that, that natural smell of wort and malt in the brewery in Poland. Well, it's transferred into the flavour of this beer. It's lovely and grainy and malty. It feels like a three or four grain lager. Even the blue bottle wants some. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. You can see the beautiful lacing on the glass. As I rock the beer back and forth, you can see that carbonation chasing the head up the glass. That gives you some degree, some idea of the malt build in this lager. You can see that it, it, it's slightly, there's a slight delay in the carbonation chasing the head up the glass. That's good. It's uh, it's really, really, really good. I like the balance. The balance between those sweet, biscuity, bready grains and the bitterness from the hops on the back end. It's a beautifully, beautifully balanced beer. Oh, do you know, it's one country, which I have been to technically, technically. I went to a brewery in South Poland that bordered the Czech Republic. And I was with uh, Ziemek from Brava Pinta and he said, come with me. Went down this road and there was the border. He said, stand there, stood over there. He said, right, you're in the Czech Republic. So technically I've stood in the Czech, Czech, Repu Re the Czech Republic, um, but I've never actually spent any time now. I would love to go and see some of the city, some of the brewery, some of the beer, some of the people. I understand the people are amazing. Yeah, I want to go. I got to go to the Czech Republic. I really do. There's nothing I can read on the back of the label. It's in Czech or Slovakian. But it's really good that the beer made its way over to the UK. Uh, from beersofeurope.co.uk. Uh, I'm ready to rate it. I really, really like this beer. I could drink pint after pint after pint of that. And I believe this beer has been designed specifically for that purpose. Light the barbecue, crack open a canic, and away you go. I like the beer enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.